Spring is officially here, and the season can be chilly one day and warmer the next. But we've got a trend to show you from averaging out temperatures. Here's how spring warming impacts the Pacific Northwest. After a February freeze with snow and ice, a spring warm up with temperatures near 60 is a welcome change, right? Well, maybe not. Spring warming is an annual part of our normal seasonal weather cycle. Some years it's slow and some years it's quick. But every year the renewal of spring brings a different imprint. All the warm ups and the cool downs averaged out show a trend. With the start of spring, let's look at how temperatures have warmed up over the last 50 years. Since 1970, in 243 cities, roughly half have had their average spring temperatures warm by two degrees Fahrenheit or more. Seattle is now experiencing 2.2 degrees warmer than normal average spring temperature. Nearly all cities felt more spring days with above normal temperatures. With Seattle, now experiencing 16 more days of spring above normal. What happens if this trend continues? With extra spring days and warmth, we see increased avalanche danger. Rapid rainfall and melting snow in the mountains would increase flood events. Bears come out of hibernation early. There's a longer season for mosquitoes and a longer allergy season. Large temperature swings could increase blowing dust for central Washington, which could spark an earlier start to wildfire season.